Hello and welcome back to the program. Well, as you can see, we've made it down Highway 98 and are now in our Okaloosa County studio. We're going to talk about a great event that happens each year in Crestview. Uh, that is, of course, the Triple B that, that comes to Crestview every year. Joining me now to talk about that is Sandra Wilson. She's with the Main Street Crestview Association. Sandra, thank you so much for coming on the program today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Uh, Main Street Crestview uh, Association, tell me a little bit about what you guys do and your mission up there in Crestview. Sure. We are a nonprofit organization. We work for the city and for the people in Crestview. We put the fall festival together, the Christmas parade. We help with the Veterans Day parade out and we do the Strawberry Festival, which we introduced last year for the first time in a bigger concept. So we, we do the big events and we're trying to help the downtown too to grow in terms of businesses. Now that the new courthouse is open, we're seeing a lot more foot traffic. So we're excited to be part of the, the heart of the city. So how, how does that work? How do these festivals help the heart of the city, as you say, you yeah. know, downtown and everything. How do they help uh, to, to do that? To well, we are a huge city in the county, and what we have is we have a big military community that rotates in and out a lot. And so these events bring people into the city, into the heart of the city, and to discover the stores that we have downtown. People don't realize that we have over 100 um, occupied businesses down there. It's lawyers, attorneys, but we have beauty salons, we have rustic reflections, we have different places that are there. And so we bring in the people to understand everything that we have in our downtown, and uh, we attract people from the north as well. Um, the south is really busy, they have their own events, and and parties but the north comes out and uh, we have people from Alabama that come came sure, for the yeah. fall festival so we keep it we try to keep it full really allows you guys to showcase the hub city and everything that y'all have to offer so uh, you mentioned several events you guys have throughout the year but um, it's hard to believe we're already you know talking about spring and everything and it's and, so fast uh, <laughs> it really is going too fast uh, but the triple B it is right around the corner. Tell me about it. So we are moving it back to the downtown uh, Crestview. It, uh, the last two years it took place at Spanish Trail Park. It was uh, trying to grow and be a, a sanctioned event. Um, but with the changes that are taking place in the city, we are moving it back to our uh, downtown area. We're excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, the businesses appreciate the, the foot traffic for sure. And uh, it's going to be a great time. Uh, the barbe barbecue cook-off is always a fun event for the backyard uh, competitors. Mm -hmm. uh, they get the big trophies and things like that. We'll have live bands, which are always nice, and we try to use local people in the area that are um, doing music. Uh, we'll have a DJ do, do some fun dance music as well, <laughs> and we'll have tons of vendors. We get so sure. many vendors that line up. We have nonprofit organizations, clubs, businesses that sell their items, other food trucks that come out. So the Main Street is going to be packed with uh, businesses. Yeah, it's always a great time. And thank you for mentioning the, the food vendors as well, because it's hard to believe not everybody loves barbecue, I know, but if, right? <laughs> if, if, if you know somebody in the family wants to go, there are other options for, for people as well. Yeah, and we welcome all food vendors to bring mm -hmm. up their food trucks. We line them up nicely, space them out on, on Main Street. And so um, while the competition is going on, it's not so much fun for the public, but uh, we do have barbecue vendors and other food mm -hmm. vendors. So if people are interested in joining our event, they can go on our website. Everything is on our website. The vendors application, the barbecue okay. vending application, and competitors can go there. So uh, tell me a little bit about the competition and, and the, the, the People's Choice Award. Uh, do you have that again this year? We will. We okay. will. And so um, if you sign up as a food vendor, as a barbecue food vendor, you can participate in the competition mm -hmm. too. If you do compete and don't want to be a food vendor, you can do that as well. Everything is explained on the website. Um, the barbecue competition is a backyard competition. Um, you, you know, whatever you want to participate in each category, you mm -hmm. can choose that. Um, we offer the People's Choice Award. Um, people love that because they get to try all the different Absolutely. barbecues. And so this year, what we do too is we offer, uh, we give away two butts for each uh, entry. Mm -hmm. So if you want to participate, you have really no expenses but cooking the meat, mm -hmm. and we take care of all the rest. You don't have to have another person giving out the little samples. We will have a big People's Choice tent, so people can go there and try out all the meats mm -hmm. and vote for their favorite, and you can win uh, $300 in a trophy. Yes. And bragging rights. And bra yeah, that, that's always <laughs> the best part, right? Yeah. Um, you mentioned the vendors. You're still looking for vendors. What about sponsors? Are you still looking for people we, to join? Yes, we are still taking sponsors. And uh, again, that's on the website. I have mm -hmm. everything on there. But if people have a question, they can give me a call. Because sometimes I cater to the sponsorship package to the business, too. Um, they may want something um, other people may not want. So sure. um, I'm always open for a conversation, but we definitely want to look for some more sponsors. Okay, and I think we've touched on everything except for one very important thing, that's the date. 
Oh, what, yeah. What yeah, I know, right? <laughs> March 23rd, 2019. It starts at 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. Um, and uh, it'll be in the downtown Crestview area. Okay. Easy to find. Yeah, easy to find. Uh, we got about a minute left, but you mentioned something earlier that uh, I'm sure is probably right around the corner, so I do want to ask you about it, the Strawberry Festival. Uh, when is that taking place and where? That's going to be April 13th, 2019, and that's just going to be one of, one of the side streets because we mm -hmm. only allow arts and crafts vendors. Okay. It has to be handmade. Mm -hmm. It's Arts and Crafts Festival. And so um, on the same day, we'll have a car show on Main Street is, uh, going on mm -hmm. at the same time. But um, that will be on our website posted. And uh, last year was amazing. We had beautiful weather. And we had thousands of people come out for Great. our first time. We were really proud of that. And all of our vendors were really happy with their sales. Mm -hmm. People came out and bought. They loved the handmade scarf. We sold scarves in the middle of uh, April. It was warm <laughs> and sunny. But we sold scarves and, and, and all kinds of handmade stuff. So that was really fun. Wonderful. Well, best of luck for all your events that you have this Thank year. Y'all are definitely yeah. busy. We'll have you back to talk about some of them as we get uh, further along in the year, but I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you so much. I Absolutely. appreciate you. And thank you for tuning in. Join us next month as we take another look across the Gulf Coast.